when we think about the symptoms, you're well aware of these in children that can be related to reflux disease, uh, that doesn't get better with anti-acids, abdominal pain, vomiting, eating problems. And one of the things that we've grown to appreciate from our interactions with the feeding specialist is that there may not only be symptoms of problems with eating, but children may have problems that are not as well elucidated because they've, been cope, they've learned how to cope with their symptoms. But what do I mean by that? You, you may ask the question of do you have problems with swallowing, and the uh, child or a family may say no. But if you go on to ask a series of other questions, including do you cut your food in small pieces, chew your food a lot, pocket the food, need liquid to swallow those foods, avoid highly textured foods like breads or rice or meat, the answer may be yes. And these may not be obvious symptoms, but they've been developed over time. If you were asking the question of have you had a food impaction or food stick in your esophagus, the answer may be no, but if you go on to ask a series of other questions, do you raise your arms above your head, avoid again in public, need to lubricate your food, the answers will be yes, because people have developed ways to cope with this problem. So the second point that I wanted to, I always make to our providers when we give this talk, and I think is important as we try to educate others about these diseases, you need to ask at least two questions to try to understand what's going on.